Gerald R. Ford is the lead ship of Ford-class aircraft carriers, expected to join the U.S. Navy fleet, in late 2022. Ford-class carriers are the new generation carriers, expected to replace the currently operational, Nimitz-class carriers. Gerald R. Ford is the most expensive, and largest carrier ever built. Equipped with the latest technology, never used in any carrier of the world. The development of brand new technology, which did not exist before, caused a delay in the Gerald R. Ford deployment. These factors made the Ford-class carrier's program a little bit controversial, but this year the last technical hurdle has been solved, and now the Gerald R. The first Ford-class carrier is on the way to be deployed at the end of 2022. In this video, you will see the main features of the Gerald R. Ford carrier and its brand new technologies. Gerald R. Ford is the first ship of the next generation Ford-class carriers. Its keel was laid in 2009, and it was scheduled to be completed in 2015. Its structure was 100% completed on time in 2013, but due to the development and testing of latest generation equipment, it took more time to deployment. The initial cost for Gerald R. Ford was estimated $10.5 billion, but six years delay in completion exceeded the budget to $2.8 billion. Furthermore, research and development of new technologies added $4.7 billion more to its cost. Thus after completion, the $18 billion cost makes it the world's most expensive warship. It is a supercarrier, as it is the largest warship ever built in terms of displacement, 100,000 tons. Its length is 337 meters, with a 41 meters waterline beam and 78 meters flight deck beam. The Ford-class carriers are 4 meters longer and about 2 meters wider than the Nimitz-class carriers, which are the largest operational carriers. Gerald R. Ford carrier can accommodate over 75 aircraft, 10 more aircraft than Nimitz-class carriers. Furthermore, it can host 4,539 personnel. Equipped with the latest equipment and its large number of aircraft and weapons carrying capability makes it the most efficient warship in the world. The Gerald R. Ford carrier can carry 40 to 50 strike fighters, 5 electronic attack aircraft, 19 Sea Hawk helicopters, 4 carrier-based Hawkeye aircraft, 2 vertical landings and takeoff military transport aircraft. The Gerald R. Ford is also designed to accommodate the next generation aircraft and weapons. It will be able to accommodate 6 generation aircraft including F-35 Sea Fighters. 10 Ford class carriers are expected to be built. To date, 5 of them have been announced, 3 have been laid down, and 2 have been constructed, including Gerald R. Ford. The second Ford class carrier, John F. Kennedy is now in the fitting out stage, and it is expected to be commissioned in 2024. The Gerald R. Ford carrier is equipped with new technology, never used in any ship. Here are some innovative technologies used in the Gerald R. Ford carrier, and also will be used in other carriers of her class. Electromagnetic Catapults Gerald R. Ford class carrier uses electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS rather than conventional steam piston catapults. It is a new aircraft launching system that works on electromagnetic induction, designed to produce motion in a straight line. It has many benefits over conventional, steam piston launch systems. It can also launch heavy aircraft which could not be launched via a steam piston driven system. It launches aircraft more smoothly, reducing stress on the aircraft mainframe. The system is lightweight and needs less space and maintenance. It needs no water to operate, unlike the steam piston launch system. Thus reducing the demand for fresh water and saving energy needed for desalination. Advanced Aircraft Arresting Gear Ford-class carrier is equipped with Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, that rapidly decelerates an aircraft at landing stage. The other aircraft carriers use the hydraulic system for this purpose. The AAG in Ford class carriers employs advanced technologies. It consists of inducting motors and shock absorbing water turbines to deaccelerate aircraft. It has been designed to handle all kinds of aircraft. It provides higher reliability and safety. 
The system has a lower energy consumption ratio and requires less manpower and maintenance to operate. Weapons Elevators Advanced weapons elevators in the Gerald R. Ford carrier uses no pulleys and hydraulics. It works via electromagnetic motors. It allows the transport of massive munitions from the depths to the flight deck at a short notice. The elevator's development and testing was one of the main reasons that delayed the carrier deployment plan. Eleven advanced elevators have been installed in the carrier. The elevators have been repositioned so that the ordinance doesn't disturb the aircraft movement. These high-capacity elevators have solved the traffic problem across the carrier. Weapons and aircraft can be moved to the flight deck within minutes. The Radar System Gerald R. Ford class carrier is equipped with integrated active electronically scanned array search and tracking radar systems. It is a new type of radar system which has no moving parts controlled by a computer. It can steer the radio waves at any point in a different direction. It uses a wide range of frequencies. It can trace and track airborne threats in all weathers. It can detect modern aircraft having a low radar cross-section area and cruise missiles flying at low altitudes. This new radar is designed to meet the modern warfare challenges as old-era radars become fail in detecting latest generation aircraft and cruise missiles. As this new radar has no moving parts, therefore requires less maintenance and manpower. Modern Warfare For now the energy-based weapons are not the part of Gerald R. Ford-class carrier, but in the future, the Ford-class carriers could be integrated with the next-generation weapons system. In the United States, a range of new energy-based weapons are now in the developmental and testing stages. It also includes a free electron laser FEL, to defend the ship against cruise missiles and boat swarms. Engine As the Gerald R. Ford class carrier has more electronic components, therefore, it demands more power. A new A1B reactor has been designed for this carrier. It has a smaller size, but it is more efficient and powerful than the reactor of Nimitz-class carriers. Two reactors will be installed in each Ford-class carriers, which will produce 690 megawatt power, 25% more power, than the 1960s-era reactor of the Nimitz-class carriers.